How are things? Well, we got a whole doggone slew of good news last night, I would say. Um, the new Fast Start bonus is pretty freaking great. Uh, coming from the world of affiliate marketing, 50% uh, first month is really, really good. Really, really, really good. And then the things that are being added on to create sort of like that, um, you know, the desire to stay in, right? Like the diffuser on the loyalty. I mean, it's just like, it's so good. On so many levels, it's so incredibly good. So there's that. Now let's get into how fast can you expect for people to join your team, right? Or to join you in Young Living, not necessarily even as um, a brand partner, but how fast do we expect people to be signing up with us and that sort of thing? And so we're going to be getting into that here in a second, but first we're going to pray because that is what I do. So Lord, thank you for giving us this day. Thank you for creating so much enthusiasm and so much excitement last night. Uh, thank you for the leadership that we have at this company in corporate where they're really looking out for people and making sure that the best decisions are made for the whole. Um, Lord be with them as they continue to make decisions on a daily basis that affect so many people. Um, Lord, also just let's, Lord, can you just be with us today? Be with us today and what we think of ourselves. Lord, be with us and, and help us remember who we are in you. Help us remember that we are worthy in you, that the things that we do, we shouldn't be scared to do anything at all. We shouldn't be scared to reach out a hand to help somebody. Uh, and we shouldn't be scared to you know, post things on social media and all of that. We really shouldn't have any fear because what are we afraid of? What are we afraid of? Lord, be with us. Give us courage. Give us strength in your name. Amen. All right. So, um, how quick? There's so many things I want to say right now. I literally was running around my house not less than five minutes ago. You can ask my husband. Um, he's just watching me. He's like, what's going on? What's going on? I was running around my house, like yelling in excitement, not mad. I'm not mad. I don't, I don't really get mad like that, but I was not mad. I was just kind of like yelling around in excitement. I'm barefoot. I'm just like, you know, I'm picking up dirt. A little bit of chinchilla poop happened. Um, there's just, it's, it's, it's chaos. And it's amazing because I just had the biggest light bulb moment for my people in cutting edge. And it's so good. Like I thought it was good to be able to, like last night I added that I was going to train their people that come in, you know, their builders that sign up under them, that I would train them for their first 90 days so they get onboarded and know what they're doing and all of that. Like I, I announced that last night and I thought that was amazing. And then what I came up with this morning, I was like, oh my gosh. Basically, when you're in cutting edge, you don't ever have to sell. <clears throat> with what I have just thought of that I'm able to do for you guys, you don't ever have to sell. You just help people I handle the rest. And then I make sure that they sign up with you. And I have the breadcrumbs to go with, so I make sure they sign up with you. How about that? How about that? Come on, right? Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna, more details on that later. I am just like, oh my gosh. It's so good. All right, okay, all right. So now, how fast? And also, if you have not, I have to say this first because I just said that, if you are not in the cutting edge, we are almost at our first level of founders. The founders get it, um, they get it at a very, very, very inexpensive price. 
and you get locked into that price because you're the original founders. So the first 500 get locked into that price. If you are not in yet, you need to be in. You better ask somebody, okay? What you would do is you would just message me at Live in the Dream with Martha. It's my Facebook business page. Message me there and just say um, uh, cutting edge. Just message me the words cutting edge. Uh, Live in the Dream with Martha. Message me the words cutting edge. You guys, we are about to blow up Young Living. I don't care. I don't care what you think. It is about to happen. This is what I do, and we're going to have fun. Anyway, okay. Um, please help me get so silver made so. Wait, please help me get silver made simple. I keep trying to get it, and it won't go through. Oh, silver made simple. Um, go ahead and message my, my business page for that, too. They'll help you out with it. Um, or I'll help you out with it. Depends on who um, answers the message. Um, I can't wait for this. I'm a blue. I just love systems. I'm also paralyzed with social media looking perfect. Oh, girl. <laughs> Please. Well, don't worry about this. This is, a, this is insanity. This is about to be completely crazy. Okay, so anyway, all of that aside. How long can you expect for people to take to sign up for your business, to sign up for your, to sign up in Young Living under you, right? Um, really, there's three different types of people. And I've, I've said this, I used to say this a long time ago, but I'm going to say it again, because I think people really need to hear it. Um, there's, there's basically, so there's like percentages, and I always do this, and some of you might be like, here it comes, here it comes. Okay. Two to three percent of your people that are in your audience, the people that you know, that follow you, blah, blah, blah. Two to three percent of your people are what are called early adopters. So those are going to be the people that they love you, they want to support you, whatever you say you're doing, they are in, they're doing it, you know, you they want you to send them your dirty socks so they can wash them for you and send them back. Like it's just like it's, they're just your people, right? Two to 3% of your audience are those people, okay? Now, on the other end of the spectrum, this way, 5%, typically, this is a typical number, 5% of your audience wish you would shut up. And it's totally okay, right? That's always the case. Here's the deal, we're heart-centered people if you weren't heart-centered, you wouldn't be watching me unless you're watching me to screenshot something and send it to somebody else and create some sort of hubba baloo, right? In which case, screenshot the right stuff, please. <laughs> Sorry. Hashtag screenshotters. Um, anyway, <laughs> now I just have to laugh about it. It's a serious riot. So anyway, these people, we're heart-centered people. And so it hurts our feelings whenever people want us to shut up or whenever people argue with us online, or when people talk nasty about us, or whatever. But that is your 5%. It's, they exist, whether you like it or not, they exist. And so what we need to understand is that they're going to be there regardless. What we need to do is we need to put them in perspective and say that's only 5%. It's just that the 5% are typically loudest. So we think it's everybody, but it's not. It's just 5% of your people, okay? And feel free to hide their comments whenever they post things on social media and you're like, boy, that was not kind. Then go ahead and just hide their comments, guys. Little three dots up at the top right, click on hide. They will be like, why is nobody, you know, joining me in this uh, witch hunt? And um, it's because nobody sees it. <laughs> nobody sees the comment, but they don't know that. Now, here's the important number. 92 to 93%. We can all agree that's a big number. 92 to 93%, right? 92 to 93% of your audience. I don't care if your audience is 50 people. I don't care if it's 100. I don't care if it's 100,000. 92 to 93% of your audience just 
needs to hear it more. They just need to hear what you're talking about more. So whenever you make your first post and, pe and you get like crickets and you're like, oh my gosh, I knew this wasn't going to work. Blah, blah, blah. That's the law of large numbers. That's it in, that's how it works. Social media needs priming. Social media, people need priming. What you did is you just, you kind of, you shot something out there and, and what we're doing with this, like shooting something out there is we're seeing, we're seeing where the two to 3% are, if they saw the post, a lot of two to 3% may not even see the post on your first post that you make. Here's another stat. People need to see something seven to 15 times. And I venture to say that's actually a much bigger number these days. But in the psychology books, that's what it is. Seven to 15 times people need to see something before they make a buying decision. Seven to 15. So don't be concerned about the one post that you made that got crickets. You don't need to be embarrassed about things like that. You see what I'm saying? And especially if you're in cutting edge, you're not even going to be doing that stuff anymore. As of this morning, moving forward, you're not even going to do that stuff anymore. At all. You're going to be making really cool posts that are very helpful to people. You're going to be reaching you're going to be reaching your arm out to drowning people around you and pulling them into lifeboat kind of posts. If you're, I'm serious, guys. If you're not in cutting edge, get in cutting edge. Be part of what is about to happen. This is a YL revolution. I have home-based revolution as my signature program, right? My seven income stream system. This is the YL revolution. It really is. That's why I was running around screaming because I know it, I see it. I can see the end before it happens and I see it and it is good. <laughs> it is good, it is so good. <sighs> so you guys, when, when we think of how long is it gonna take for me to grow my business, it's gonna take as long as it takes. But here's the deal is you have to keep going. You have to keep working, I guess, working, uh, air quotes. You need to keep showing up. What people are looking for is they're looking for somebody that they can trust. And if you only show up once and never show up again in that capacity, they can't trust you. And why should they? Like, let's really be honest. Why should they? We need to prove ourselves trustworthy, right? Okay, I'm popping out of here. I gotta go because I gotta go into my inner circle group. Um, I love you guys, YL Lifer, yes. Well, we have a new post from Martha today. Yesterday's was so awesome for me, helped a lot and helped me learn a lot, yay! Yes, I, I'm going into, first of all, in cutting edge is what you're referring to. I'm going in there, we're gonna be going over a training today. If you're not in, get in guys. Uh, we're gonna go over a training today and then I'm also going to have a new activity for you to do today. Uh, that's what I do for you every day. I tell you literally what to do and it's what I'm doing and we're all growing this thing together. I'm gonna hit RCD within the year and you're gonna hit whatever your goal is within the year. Real talk. We're doing that. Okay. I'm getting out of here. Love you guys. Bye-bye.